If you are a web developer or designer, then you must be using some local servers like WAMP or XAMPP to create websites on your computer. But if you are a non-technical person, what is the options available for you to create a website on your local computer? Let's find out. Hey everyone, my name is Ankit and welcome to Spectromine. If you are a startup, a blogger or an entrepreneur, then I am here to simplify the web technology part for you. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you can get notification whenever we upload a new video. Creating your website on live server could be a little slow process. And if you are a non-technical person, there are very less options available for you to create your website on your local computer first. But there is a simple tool which you can use to create websites on your local computer first and then upload it to your live server. And the tool name is Local by Flywheel. So let's see how it works. Now this is the tool that we will be using to develop our website on our local computer. And this is the best option if you are a non-technical person and using vamp or zamp is a bit of technical thing for you so all you have to do is just click on the free download and choose if you wish to have a windows or a mac version i'm a window person so i will download the windows one and i'm sure it's a pretty legit company so you can surely share your email id there and then just hit on get it now and the download should start automatically. I was using XAMPP till now, but I have recently switched to this local by Flywheel application. And this is really awesome. Okay, once download is done, all you have to do is just click on the setup file and just give it the administrative rights and it will start installing the application for you. Okay, I think it's gonna take some time, so let me just go ahead and forward it for you. Okay, these are the things that it will install on your computer so that you can use the local tool to create your website. So let's see how it goes. It might ask you to allow some administrative permissions for the applications like VirtualBox. So it's saying me to create a new website. So as it is a fresh install, so let's go ahead and create a new site. Okay, what will be my site name? Okay, let's see if we can use the same Spectrum Mind. And these are some advanced options. The site domain will call spectramind.local and the path would be somewhere in my computer. Okay, uh, so these are the options to choose the environment. These are the options which is allowing us to choose the PHP version or the SQL version to use. And I go with the preferred one, but let's see what is in the custom. Okay, we can use the PHP version. We can allow it to choose the server and the MySQL version. Um, I personally feel to choose the PHP version 7.0 and web server as Apache. and MySQL as 5.5, that'll be fine. For most of the WordPress plugins and the themes that we'll be using, this configuration should work. So I think it's gonna download few more files to create the compatible environment as per configuration. So let's see how it goes. Okay, uh, so now it's asking for a username, a password, and an email ID. Okay. Uh, let it be a generic name. I am just choosing admin, admin123. 
which you should never use on the live website. The email ID, the email ID would be fine. And is this WordPress multi-site? No, never. Okay, now it's asking me to set this login credentials as a universal admin login details for all my sites, uh, which is actually helpful. I do not have to remember the admin details again and again. So let's go ahead and choose that. So now it's installing 173 MB of more files. So let's see how it goes. So looks like things are ready now and we have installed our first website. These are the versions and settings installed and these are the database details. And let's see how the site looks on the local server. And yes. As expected, it installed the native WordPress theme. And let's see how the backend looks. All right, the same Spectra Mine website and WP login page. And let me try with the login ID. All right, pretty much everything as we expected. Now here is the cool feature about this application. If you were working on a website locally, you can use a link to share with your friends or anyone whom you would like to show the website for the review or for any input. Like if you want someone to work along with you on the website, you can just share the live link and the login details. So they can just log in in the backend and do the job for you. So let's see how it works. So all you have to do is enable this live link. And this is the link that you can use to showcase your preview to anyone. Yes, this looks, wow, this looks perfect. And let's try in a new window. Yeah, it's working perfectly fine. And let's see if we can get to the WordPress admin. Perfect. And that is amazing. You are creating a website on your local computer and without hosting it anywhere, you are just allowing it someone else to log into it and do the changes for you. This is all about local from Flyview. And let me know in the comments below what are your views about it. And if you are using it, so do let us know some tips and tricks that can help others. And before we leave, just make sure you join our Facebook group because we will be doing a lot of amazing things there. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Namaste.